Hello, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Axel Wilkinson, back with another look at PhotoKey 5's keying tools. In a recent video, we looked at how to fix a scenario where our foreground ended up partially transparent. In today's video, we're considering sort of the opposite. We've imported our image, we've applied PhotoKey's default settings, and some of the green screen is still visible, leaving this kind of ugly haziness in front of our background. So once again, the first step is to switch to an alpha view. You could do this from this menu. If you're using Photo Key 4 or earlier, you could use the matte view button up top of the screen. Or in Photo Key 5, you can also use the view menu in the chroma key tool itself. So if I change this to matte, we get basically the same view as if we'd used the foreground alpha menu here. But whichever option you choose, it'll give you a clearer view of where the trouble areas are, and our goal is to adjust the key settings to remove any gray, leaving just black and white. So, to remove the gray areas within our background, let's adjust the clip background slider, just sliding it up, continuing until things look better. So right in there looks pretty good. This has caused a side effect of creating a little bit more transparency in our foreground, but to compensate for that, we can use the clip foreground slider. I will just slide that down, until our white foreground is solid. Generally, you don't want to keep sliding this till it passes the background. Um, you want to try to keep the background slider on the left, the foreground on the right. And that's very quickly cleaned up our key. If we switch back to the result view, you can see that now those areas are gone and we have a much cleaner key to work with. Now, if you're working with version four of Photo Key and don't have the Chroma Key tool, then the Alpha Levels tool gives you very similar controls over the black the background and the white or foreground areas of your matte view. In most cases, the clip controls here will be sufficient to clean up your image. If you can't seem to get quite enough adjustment, then you might try starting out by adjusting the gamma slider first. In fact, if I reset this, we'll go back to the matte view. And now if I adjust the gamma slider, you can see how by turning that down, I've cleaned up the background area there, although I've introduced a lot more transparency into our foreground. But from there, if we clean up our foreground, that brings a little bit of the background back. So we adjust to get rid of that. And we now do have significantly more space between our clip controls there. So if we had to adjust it farther, we could, because we have a little bit more room to play. One last adjustment that I think is necessary for this image, if we switch back to the result and maybe zoom in, you can see this thin, light-colored line along the edge of her arm there and in a few other places on the image. And we can eliminate that by adjusting the edge color recover slider. I will just turn that up to around one, and that very quickly gets rid of that border line. So the actual cause of the difficulty in keying this image is that the green screen is very unevenly lit. If I turn our tools off there, you can see there's this huge hot spot right there. It's blown out a bit down here too, and then we have this shadow area being cast by our subject over to the side. So if you regularly find that you need to adjust your images to remove parts of the green screen, it might be worth taking some time to adjust your green screen setup to try to get more even lighting to begin with. In most cases, Photo Key 5 will do an excellent job of removing the background for you. In fact, I went through hundreds of sample images that I had on hand to try to find an image that demonstrates this problem, and I actually couldn't find one, so I ended up having to tweak this image in Photoshop to make the key misbehave so I could show you how to deal with that situation. But even though the default results from Photo Key 5 are excellent, if you end up with an image that does need some adjustment, Photo Key has all the tools you need to dial it in. So thanks for watching, and we will be adding more video tips like this in the near future, so please subscribe to our channel to catch them as well.